Hey, maybe Ruby could save me. Oh, yeah, I'd love to be rescued by her. Yeah, I know. Come on, Ollie. I'll show you how top I am at rescuing. Mario, no time for reading. We've got customers. Yeah, this'll be fun, being rescued by Ruby. Hey? No! Ollie! Ruby! Don't go! I'm telling you, Ollie, rescuing is what I do. And people need saving all the time. Look! Rescuing people who don't need to be rescued. But I just saved them from grave danger. And look how safe they are now. But they were safe all along, Ruby. Fred was digging a hole to fix a drain, Mick was mending a car, and the firemen were getting a cat out of a tree. Oh, Ollie's right, Ruby. You'll always be a trainee rescue helicopter until you learn to spot a real rescue situation. at rescues after all, Ollie. I just keep making mistakes. We all do, Ruby, but don't give up. I can help you. Really? Yeah. All you need to do is spot when someone needs to be rescued. <gasps> What's going on, Ollie? <laughs> Sounds like someone needs rescuing now, Ruby. What do you think? Oh, right. Let me work it out for myself. There's children playing football. The ball is fine. Kids eating ice cream. They're OK. There's Buzzer having a little swim with the sharks. He's fine. Buzzer's friends hopping up and down, dancing and shouting. They're fine too. It all looks normal, Ollie, but... Wait a minute. Buzzer swimming with sharks? You've got it, Ruby. Right. Coming, Buzzer! Yeah, about time, Ruby. Old Jules is not much of a talker. See you, Sharky. Hooray! Fantastic! Yeah. Woohoo! Oh, you did it, Ruby! Thanks, Ollie! With your help, I'm now the best rescue helicopter in Bumpton. Maybe Bazza's right. I'm far too small to make it as a turbo racer. That's nonsense! You can be a turbo racer, Bertie! And I will show you how. Come on, I'll help you. Follow me. Right, Bertie. Practice makes perfect. Just follow my moves and you'll be one ace turbo racer. OK, I'll give it a go. Gonna get you jumping for the turbo cup. Gonna get radical the only way is up. All this to and fro puts me in a muddle. No matter how hard I try, it's an uphill struggle. Looking bad. Looking flaky. That dude is a little shaky. Gotta stay positive, believe you can succeed. Have faith in yourself, you'll get up to speed. Hey, I've got the knack. Catch me if you dare. This is totally cool. I'm getting serious. Ah, Looking cool! Looking fresh! Whoa! He's the best! Hey! I'm the best, okay? Oh, yeah. Sorry, man. How did I do? How did I do? Well, I think you're ready. No doubt. See you at the race, little dude. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! <laughs> Now's the one you've all been waiting for. Get ready for the Turbo Cup race! Whoa! I can't do this! Boy, what's that over there? What? what? Eat my dust, losers! <laughs> Go on, buddy! You can do it! Here goes nothing! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, Red! 
Pickle. Center. Well, let's hurry. It closes soon, and all this rubbish is making me feel oh, a bit stuffed. Uh, oh, see you later. Oh, I'm sorry, little fella. I haven't got anything for you or your friends to eat today. Leftover cake, why that's some luck. Cheerio, Ned! <laughs> Run out of cones to hold ice cream. Try party hats, it works like a dream. Grazie, Oli. Bye. Trouble with pros, <laughs> eating your crop. Happy flowers and streamers. <laughs> to make them stop. <laughs> well, Ollie, after helping our friends, all that's left to get rid of is the wrapping paper. Hiya, Yonkers. Hey, what's with the glum face? <sighs> it's just so dull and boring here. Oh, I wish I worked somewhere with a little colour. Oh, but never mind. Now, what can I do for you, Ollie? We're here to recycle the waste from Miss Ferret's birthday party. Sorry, Ollie. You're too late. Oh, I've just locked up for the day. Oh, no. So now what do we do with all this wrapping paper? Hang on, Stan. I've got an idea. Well, Yonkers, what do you think? <laughs> Brilliant. I'm going to love working in such a colourful place. And we've reused every bit of rubbish from the party. Oh, well done, Ollie. Ollie, the little white fan, helps his friends as much as he can. Ollie, the little white fan, always around with a helping hand. Ollie, the little white fan, helps his friends as much as he can. Ollie, the little white fan, always around with a helping hand. school books so important, Stan? Oh, they're a great way to learn new things. That's why people always need help from books. Hey, what's up with Bazza? Hey, Bazza, are you OK? No, I'm not, Ollie. Why not? Well, the thing is, I'm trying to grow a tomato plant, but I'm not having any luck. I never thought you'd be into gardening, Bazza. Well, I am. And I'd love to grow tomatoes of my own, all bright red and tasty. Mm. Hey, Stan, maybe one of Miss Tabitha's school books can help Bazza. Nice idea, Ollie. Let's have a look. Oh, ho, ho. here we are. The Little Helper's Guide to Gardening. Right, where's your plant? Here it is. But, Bazza, that's a box. No, it's in the box. Um, I don't think keeping it in a box is a good idea, Bazza. Well, OK, clever clogs. How else am I supposed to keep the slimy slugs off it, eh? Oh, Ollie's right, Bazza. It says here that plants need light and water to grow. Oh, 
Thanks for helping me, guys. Don't thank us. Thank the book. <laughs> There you go. Well done, you two. Right, time for lessons. <laughs> I'm sure the children will be fed up of being kept on the playground for so long. <laughs> Could all pupils please return to their classrooms? Lessons will begin in five minutes. Ollie, you've saved the day. The pupils will learn lots of new things today. And I've learned something new too. The books really are super helpful. Yeah. Just like you, eh, Ollie? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you need a little help and you don't know where to turn, just open up a book, there's so much you can learn. They're full of useful things that are really good to know. Like where to keep tomatoes and how to help them grow. If you're feeling stuck and you don't have a clue, look in a book, they'll show you what you need to do. Ollie, the little white van, helps his friends as much as he can. Ollie, the little white van, always around to give a helping Think, Alice. I'm meeting Susie later, so I really want to look my best. She'll be dazzled, Ollie. Have fun. What's up, Yonkers? Oh, hello, Ollie. How am I going to carry all this rubbish to the recycling centre? Hmm, maybe I could help. I've got a bit of time before I meet Susie. Oh, thanks, Ollie. You're a star. 
I don't think Susie will mind. It'll be okay. What is that horrible stink, Bazza? It's not me. Hiya, Percy. What's that? Farmer Dan's giving me some manure to help my flowers grow. Uh, um. Well, I don't suppose you'd like a lift, would you? Oh, yeah! Cosmic, Ollie. It's pretty heavy stuff, this manure. Yeah. Oh. Pretty smelly, too. Oops. Oh, that'll need cleaning up. Thanks, Ollie. Sorry about the smell and the mess. Anytime, Percy. I definitely smell bad. Susie won't come near me. Oh, I'd better have a quick wash. It'll be okay. Oh, where's that terrible stench coming from, Mick? Well, it's not me. Oh, no. It looked like the zookeeper Willie needed a little help. But I haven't got time. But I should help. But I need a wash. But what? It... Oh! Need any help, Zookeeper Willie? You see, Ollie, the interesting thing about skunks is their incredible smell. <laughs> yep, that's incredible, all right. That's better. I can't smell a thing anymore. Me neither, Mick. Ollie, you little stinker! <laughs> Thanks again, Ollie. Why the sad face? Oh, well, I was going to meet Susie, and I was all fresh and clean. Oh, now I'm all mucky and I pong. <laughs> Boxes. Oh, it's Farmer Dan. Hello. Stan, about this box you just dropped off. I was expecting a new spade, but I don't see how I'll do much digging with an electric guitar. Oh, dear. We've given you the wrong box. Give us a minute. We're on our way. Problem, Stan? I'll say. Oh, it's Percy. Hello. Stan, my new guitar. Where do I plug it in, man? Eh? I'm sorry, Percy. Can you hold the line a mo? Hello? Stan, my new hat. It's the wrong one. Yeah, no, Stan, my parcel. What a pickle. Stan, this new suit you just delivered. I was expecting finest Italian silk. Now, don't give me no funny business. Sort it out. Oh, uh-oh. Come on, Ollie. I know, Ollie. Oh, I'm glad that's all over. Oh, it's DJ Dawn. Hello? Stan, this is mega bad. Where are my records? Stan, these new plates are a bit weird. Yeah, Stan, those new windows you just delivered, they don't let much light in. Stan, about these paintings you dropped off, Mr. DeHonk is not amused. This is not art. I see right through it, amateurs. Oh, no! Excuse me, are you Stan? Yes, it's for you. Hello? Stan, what's with all this monkey business? Oh, Ollie, I give up. Oh, come on, Stan, don't... 
Don't give up now. I know what we should do. Phone everyone back and ask them all to meet in the park, bringing their deliveries with them. We haven't got long, Stan. Don't worry, Ollie. This shortcut will save us plenty of time. <laughs> We're going to have to go back. No time for that. We're going to jump it. Whoa! <laughs> now what? Hey! <laughs> Careful with the cake! Hey! Oh, pretty fancy wheel work, Ollie. <laughs> And I hereby declare the winner of Best Cake at Bumpton Fair is... Beep, beep. Oh, I say! <laughs> the Best Cake goes to Ollie and Stan! What happened there, Stan? No idea, Ollie. Come on, we haven't got much time. Phew! I'm glad we're back on track. Yep. Nothing but plain sailing from here on out. Do you hear that, Stan? I do. I wonder what it could be. Bees! Whoa! They must want the cake. Bees love cake. You, you can't have it. It's for the firefighters. Good work, Ollie. But it's nearly 12 o'clock. We're running out of time. We'll see about that, Stan. Come on, Royston. Let me show you my brand new horn. It's the best. Father Man, we're a little busy. Can't it wait until lunchtime? We made it! Oh no! Come on, you lot! Left a bit! Right! Right! There! 